Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tarun again, back with another fitness video. So in this video, I want to talk about confidence and self-belief in getting to your fitness goal. So it's not going to be a motivational talk. It's not going to be a conversation wherein I help you realize your true potential or anything like that shit. No. This video is about me trying to share my experience with you and sharing with you that you know how confidence in yourself can actually help you not only feel good about yourself but also help you get to your fitness goal with utmost ease shall we begin let's do that so if you remember my last video was all about my before after now wherein I shared my one week progress now if I were to go by the visuals a lot of people would say you know you know hey this guy doesn't even lift he has a weird chest or you know his you know he has gyno or you know he's too fat or he's too whatever I really don't give a shit because I know, I know I have that belief and I have that self-confidence that within few weeks, I'm going to change that about myself. It's so simple because I'm not one of those guys, you know, who would start a YouTube channel or, or come on, on, on probably any social media platform with a great physique and uh, telling world how, how natural I am. And you know, I'm genetically blessed to have that physique. A, that's bullshit. And two, there are not many people like that. The real people are like you and me. People who go through problems, fitness problems, besides many other problems, every friggin' day. Every day there's a challenge for all of us. From our workouts, to our life, to our daily routine. So, Coming back to confidence and belief, people will try to tell you that, you know, oh, you know, you can't get a body, hey. you, you don't, you don't have the genetics, you, you know, forget about it, you know, you, you know, the only way uh, uh, you're going to get a body is, you know, if you were to change your uh, lungs, change your heart or change your muscle or genetics, that's not what you should listen to. You know, I always, in my stride of, uh, you know, in whatever little span I had in life, a lot of people criticized me. A lot of people. They still do. You know, if you see my YouTube, uh, you know, Facebook, I have considerable amount of lovers, people who like me, the way I talk, what I talk, and my content. And there are also considerable amount of haters, you know, who would uh, talk crap about me. Do I respond to those haters? Probably not. I really don't need to because your work should do the talking, your body should do the talking. And the only way you can get your body off your dreams is, in, is by believing in yourself. No supplement in this world, no program in this world, no Tarungil of this world, no friggin' any trainer in this world can get you a physique. It's only you and your own freaking belief in yourself that will get you the body. I say this with utmost conviction that you know what? It was only one week that I shared my progress with you. And when we embarked upon this eight week transformation, you know, we're going to change the, uh, uh, you know, our body. And we're going to tell the world that, you know what? natural transformation is possible people who are natural because see you will always have people who will say something against you it's a given but you know my problem was that I used to take that all that negativity and and then that which used to bog me down which I should not have and you know what happens is when people try to tell you that you can't get to your fitness goal it actually freaking demotivates you so much so that you actually 
lose out on that dream learn to be a kid in anything that you do you know, a lot of people ask me that tarun you know uh, you were so fat you know how did you get i'm not saying i have the best physique when they ask me that you know how did you get fitter or what do you do you know how did you uh, get to know so much about fitness L- whatever little I, i i i got in my experience it's very it's plain and simple it's experience trial and error it's listening to all that shit from people you know when they when they talked about it never try to answer them back as i said let your body fucking do the talking this is something that i realized the hard way so i tell you I, i'm going to you know there's another example that that's coming to my head so i was this very ambitious guy you know i wanted to, you know i wanted to look like one of those fitness models i knew it there was no tarun gil trying to tell me that dude you don't have the genetics to look like them but hey dream is a dream you're a kid you're a dreamer you want to believe in in yourself and you want to go at it so i kept gunning for that dream and what people do is especially trainers they try to play around that dream of yours so that they could make money out of you go to a trainer and tell them hey you know what i want a physique like that he or she would never say you can't get it because they know if they were to tell you that you will not pay them what they would tell you yeah it's possible ha ah, ban jayegi if you were to follow my program if you were to take supplements from me i'm going to tell you a steroid cycle i'm going to tell you x y z it's it's a fact nobody will tell you that it's not going to be possible you know that's the reason when i talk to a lot of youngsters when i talk to a lot of kids and i talk to a lot of teenagers people across the across the board when they ask me tarun can i get a physique like that that's my goal my immediate reaction to them is to tell them hey you know what set yourself a very realistic goal a realistic goal which you firmly believe in it's 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 stupidity that you know if you go to you know one day start thinking that hey i'm going to be you know a bodybuilder or i'm going to be you know and look like a fitness model it's good to have that goal but the only way you can be a fitness model if you aiming to be in that profession but if you thinking i'm going to do my 9 to 5 job or 10 to 6 job and you know and at the same time get a body like that of a fitness model you're dreaming so come out of that zone that's what i realized it when i talked to trainers you know they tried to in cash on my dream nobody got me the body i wanted it's i had to work at it every friggin day and i continue to do it via my transformation or every day it's a friggin journey every day is a struggle that you know to wake up in the morning and go hit the gym and train like a man that's just one hour and come back and eat all your friggin meals it's hard it's tough is always an excuse but hey nothing comes easy in life so my only message to you folks is choose yourself a realistic goal goal which you can achieve i've already talked about body type so you exactly know what body type you would have go after that goal and nobody nobody will and don't take it from anyone that you can't get to a goal not even me anybody if it's a realistic goal you will get to that goal measure progress that how closely am i getting to that how how much closer i am to that goal that's the reason i'm doing these videos to map that progress before after these videos similarly you can click pictures every week but don't do it every day but the only thing the third part that you would need to transform yourself is that belief that self confident that yes i can do it and trust me the moment you convince your mind your body will get there it's simple you know i'm still learning that and every day it's it's learning for me i thought i should share that learning with you so that it may help you folks too so believe in yourself and you know anything that i could do for you on fitness you know happy to help so any one of you who have any questions on fitness any one of you who would want to talk more about this topic anybody who would want to need to everybody who want to know more about this feel free to reach out to me either on my youtube facebook or my whatsapp group and i'll be happy to help you 
understand i don't have a hidden agenda i'm only here to help you out so until we meet again see you